Hello great people, African Traveller again. Today's a beautiful day and most of you have been asking when are we going to showcase the expansion project of the Eastern Bypass, the 12.5 billion road project that is expected to end in January. Uh, but so far the expansion is, I would say, is a over 95 percent done the expansion of the eastern bypass into a dual carriage is above 90 percent complete and the 28 kilometer which stretches from city cabanas and mombasa road to ruiru has been under construction since the november of 2021 you can imagine how fast the construction has been so the multi-billion shilling road project is aimed at easing the growing traffic jam on the key road that links motorists from busy jomo kenyatta international airport and mombasa nairobi highway to thika superhighway passing the congested central business district. Treasury documented table in parliament show that the state borrowed 2 billion to expand the road in September 2021. Eastern Bypass was constructed as a single carriageway but since its completion in 2014 considerable urbanization and commerce along the corridor has occasioned significant traffic volume. The eastern Western, Northern and Southern Bypass are set to significantly cut the motorists spend on an ending traffic snarlabs as they transit through the CBD to their destination. So the link is the fourth and the final ring road in the Nairobi Ring Road Network Master Plan. So great people, so right now in Uta, before Expressway, this was the longest bridge eh, in East Africa. <laughs> Uh, this is Outer Ring Road. It was done by Kibaki during Kibaki's time. As you can see, it really helped to cut the drive time. So it's in the it's like the road connecting Eastlands. And this is one of the roads that really, really greatly helped to reduce traffic in this side of Nairobi, the east side. So it's almost a kilometer and uh, that made it be uh, one of the longest uh, flyover longest flyover before the expressway so as you can see still continues to the other side but uh, another report I saw the other day they say this road is one of the most dangerous roads in the world <laughs> uh, and some of the construction features so the road has been here for over 10 years now plus probably 15 and uh, there are so many things lagging like uh, foot bridges sidewalk probably not all the areas and uh, bus stop stations are not probably across the whole road so uh, it was very interesting to see the road being marked as one of the most dangerous roads in the world uh, but i saw the minister of infrastructure then uh, say they were working on improving and uh, increasing the foot bridges See some of the things that makes this road one of the worst. See where people are alighting from the bus. Super dangerous. It's one of the most populated areas in Nairobi. Don home. So the biggest challenge you see, like the last uh, lane, the service road, you can't easily find the bus uh, bus stops. So creating a lot of issues but still uh, the road has greatly helped this is done home Nairobi Kenya basically Eastland is where a majority of Nairobians live some of the footpaths saving lives you can see see this guys crossing the road and this is a highway just apartment left right and center just look at that and the foot bridges are, are quite distant huh? so that makes it uh, for some lazy people they cross by these barriers that you see Not forgetting the Maasai cows, enjoying some nice meals. So we are, we are heading to Pipeline. So this is Pipeline. This is the area with the highest concentration of people per square mile or kilometer. 
just look at that so you have seven to nine floor apartments here and uh, most populated just in Nairobi it's called out terrain ba majina mimi naita banan maritim na ba maoni yangu nimeona hii barabara imetusaidia sana kwa actually ya jam jam kupatikana hapa hii nimekuwa rare sana na kila kitu hapa mimi naenda naona maendeleo maendeleo na na dumu sasa tuna hata saa hii tukupepa vitu kwa soko tunafika soko haraka bila hakuna chuo hakuna jam eh hakuna jam tunafika kwa kasi yetu mapema eh hakuna watu watu wizi tukachelewa sasa tumeona hapa sasa hii barabara imekuwa imetusaidia sana imefungua vitu vingi imefungua vitu vingi sana Asante sana. Sir. Meshkuru sana. Uh, this is uh, the Eastern Bypass. This was the first bypass to be constructed in Nairobi. And in part of the 100 km ring road. So this is the Eastern Bypass. Um, all the way from Cabanas to Kamakis on Tika Road. And uh, it was also Kibaki's project. Uh, the first phase. It was the first bypass to be constructed as part of the 90 as part of the 100 km ring road around Nairobi to help ease in the traffic movement now why are we featuring it as a part of Uhuru project so when Kibaki constructed the road it was just one way uh, from um, and here we are within the airport area so JKIA so we cannot be able to show you guys some aerial shots and uh, for some extent because you also have a lot of uh, forces uh, government forces around this area so we respect the restrictions so all the way from the roundabout that we're going to pass ahead was a single lane when Kibaki uh, finalized the construction of the road it really opened up the area a lot of people moved to this side Utawala, Ruai, Joska, Kamulu and uh, within a short time there was crazy crazy traffic it was one of the road that if you were to use that, it was just an, a full of nightmare, like crazy nightmare just to use it. And I think uh, a number of times I really tried to shoot, but I could not because like it took over two hours just to go like 10 kilometers, less than 10 kilometers. So what Uhuru did, uh, did the dual carriage. And uh, this is what we're going to showcase. And I'm going to show you guys how this is really easy the movement and the life of people living around this area and if we can get one or two interviews awesome 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 by the time you could have gotten here from cabanas it would have taken you one hour on a good day and that is just like less than 10 minutes and this is because of the population that came here you can see a lot of apartments and this is how fast the economy is growing. You see, the, the construction progress is still ongoing. But at least the road is in use. So, other than that, it's a, it's a great thing. Just look at this. And man at work. And one thing you get, you're sure is, Whenever there's a population, uh, there's one thing that will always come up, and that is businesses. Especially small and medium sized businesses will always come up very fast. As you can see, um, just next to the road, all those buildings of businesses be it textile, furniture, be it clubs, supermarkets, major supermarkets, like markets actually. And uh, for those who know this area, know this area but uh, I can see these naivas here let's look at this establishment petrol station or gas station that have come up and people who are here um, before the, the road was initially constructed uh, and never came back I'm sure right now if they come they wouldn't even believe this is where they left all this was bare land most of it very few uh, structures but right now like the population is huge so 
while using this road that uh, before there was a lot of overlapping because uh wow it was crazy like i'm telling you over five times i wanted to use this road i cancelled the shoot because by the time we got here it was over two hours and uh there was still no hope and uh, and, and it only got gets better by then if you pass Ruai so you can imagine you can imagine and these are the things that we say are not tangible like the benefits of building uh, roads or structures uh, a road or infrastructure these are the things that uh, you can't quantify in the short term so the benefit comes with time is the Kenyan debt that we have a good or a bad thing so that was the question so this is Utawala this was a bushy town <laughs> so this, this was just a village in short this is a small village and right now it's a huge, a huge humongous town. And the traffic that was here was uh, huge, huge. You just see how we are cruising right now. Uh, like this, the benefit of such uh, easy access in terms of fuel consumption, you can't even quantify. It's huge, it's huge, it's huge. So we are heading right now to Ruai. So if you want to go to Tawala, you have to take the turn. It's a very nice hotel here. They're called Triple O's. Beautiful, just look at that. So this is now Ruai. So from here, we can be able to show you some aerial shots. Uh, because yes, right now uh, we are past the flight uh, path as well as this military forces area so I want to show you guys the traffic that is here just look at that as you... just look at that traffic look at that guy it's crazy what were right just kakamulu so there's emergency of so many major industry and a vision city visionary city that is supposed to come around this area and uh, that is one of the reason why the road was uh, really fast tracked a very beautiful roundabout here Yo, hello great people, African Traveller here again and we are getting views uh, of the residents of this area of how the road is and uh, they can give us more insight of how has it helped bring more issues to the road so I'll start with my first interviewee uh, which is Cornelius, Karibu sana Cornelius Yes, so Cornelius, unakai, unakai is area za Kamakis? Mini mkaachi wa Kamakis, mm. naana file wa metengenesa barabara hivi yes. inasaidia wa kaachi wa hii area mm. maana ke, hapa sana kuna achari inapatikana Mm. Sasa vile wamepanua njia hivi mm. inasaidia manake kuna malori kubwa kubwa zitakuja zinapaa kuku space inapatikana. Sasa itakuwa imesaidia pakubwa pakubwa sana. The traffic traffic sasa naona mm. imepunguza manake simeweka slow bumps kuanzia bypass yes. sikikuja ambapo hiyo slow bumps haikuwa. Mm. Sasa vile wameweka hivi tena imesaidia ku reduce speed ya makari mm. so accident itakuwa it's very rare, it's very rare. Yeah, you put it. So me fryya sana. Me fryya, you can enjoy me tengene so you. Patiyo jumbe, what's your name? Oskeke na. Oskeke na. 
kutoka hapa Karikuru. Yes. Hii barabara imesaidia sana imepunguza jam, traffic jam, saa hii haiko, ni rea kupatikana. Tena walipoweka hizi hizi makalpa ndogo ndogo sasa zimesaidia hiyo hiyo accents imekuwa rea tena. Oh. Na, na hii my extension wameweka. Mm. Tena imesaidia hiyo sababu magari saa kupanga imepata nafasi ya kupanga, mm. singine sikienda. Tunaona inaendelea iko sawa. In terms of maendeleo. Maendeleo imeinua sana hii area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Watu wame feel the change. Yeah, iko sawa sana. Mm. Watu wamepata gazi. Yes. Na watu wanapata njia za kuuza na wamepata watu wa kuuza na tena hii area imeenda juu. Imepanda. Yeah, imepanda. Hii shamba. Hii yeah, shamba tena imepanda. Na watu wanazidi kuja wengi. Yeah. Asante sana. So great people, uh, right now we are going to meet Meshak, Meshak Mule, one of the businesses, people along the road. And hey guys, just look at what we have here. It's beautiful. Uh, you're doing an amazing job. So isn't it again aswa kabisa unauza hapa? Isn't it flower pots? Oh, flower pots. Yeah, kama hizi ah. unaona hapa. Mm. Customer anazaluno wa maua na tumpandia hapa. Eh. Hata kuna zenye tumepanda ziko ready. Eh. Na kama hii kwa hii net hapo hizo ni indoors hizo mm. ni mawazo yenu yanaweka ndani ya nyumba so kama hizo kubwa kubwa roughly ni pesa ngapi uh, kama hii for example iko hapa kwa kona hapa hii mm hiyo -hmm. ni 1700 ikiwa hivyo hiyo yes. yote ni 1700 hizo zimepandiwa hapo hizo oh, hizo hizo kwa line ya kwanza yeah hizo zimepandiwa moja hizi empty empty hivi hizo empty ni 1500 moja oh so unaongezea hizi kama hizi kama hizi ni 1800 1800 yeah wow yeah, so mesha nilikuwa nataka kujua maoni yako kuhusu the development of the road No, kwako okay. imesaidia aje kibiashara ulianza biashara before biashara yeah. si tulitoka ngong road yes. wakati ngong road ilikuwa inaexpandiwa mm. tulitoka huku tukakuja tukashika hapa tukiwa watu wengi sana yeah. na tangu tushike hapa mm. customer tuwe, customer, customers wetu wenye walikuwa natoka walikuwa wanakuja ngong road yes. walitufuata mpaka mahali tuko yeah. na pia ukiangalia hapa nyuma unaona ni mahali pa na develop kwa hivyo kazi ya landscaping mm. tunapata kazi ya landscaping pande hii yote ya Roy, Kamulu, pande hii yote Joska, pande hii yote ya Ruiru, Pika. Sasa badala waende maua mbali huwa wanakujia hapa. Wanakujia hapa. Yeah. Na biashara imekuwaje tangu barabara ya ipanuliwe? Bara, biashara iko kabisa, iko sawa kabisa mpaka unaona mm. tumetengeneza mpaka hapa tulipotanga kwa chini kabisa. Tukainua, oh, tukainua ndio customer wetu wapate parking. Mm. Yeah. Hii barabara cha ilikuwa kinatusumbua. Mm. Si unaona hapa ndio imeanza ku extendiwa. Eh. Yeah. Shika unakumbuka last week but one ile accident ilikuwa hapa. Mm. Accident zimekuwa mingi si ya kusikia. Eh, yeah, kuna mm. accident ilikuwa hapa watu sita wakakufa papo hapo. Ah. Na ndio maana wakaanza kupanua hii barabara. Sasa tuliona mali wana affect ni mali tu kwa yule mtu anaanzia pale kwa kona, mm. mtu aliambiwa rudi nyuma kabisa, ndio extend barabara. Mm. Lakini upande wa biashara kazi yeah. si mbaya. So barabara imeleta watu wengi side. Imeleta watu wengi sana. Ndio ah. wale watu for example mtu anaenda Kikuyu, mm. mtu anaenda Limuru, sana sana si unaona kama lorry zinapita, mm. kitambo zikuwa zinapita Uru Highway. Oh. Lakini sasa zinapita hapa. Inaenda tu inashikanisha zote kambanas inaingia. Imeingia. Sasa kuna customer anatoka anatoka Mulolongo mm. badala ya Ndengong Road anaona ni afadhali akati hapa njoo hakuna njama ni better ni better ni better Nashukuru sana yeah, okay. na kuombea mema zaidi biashara izidi ku kunoga ndio zaambia wakitaka kuja hapo wanakuja kwa nani wakitaka kuja hapo wanakuja kwa Meshak Meshak ama ya Meshak Mule Meshak Mule ya yeah. uh, unaweza wapea namba unaweza kupigia okay wanaweza nipigia namba yangu ni 07 58 62 843 843. Mshukuru yeah. sana. Akaribu. Na tutaonana next time. Okay, asante Ayo, sana. Hayo atakwambia umetoka African Traveler. Ah, African Traveler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sawa. Okay. So we are meeting job Nyawencha. Uh, mwenye who's running uh, public service mean tuk tuk ndio. Yes. Akulingana na after upanuzi wa barabara. Nataka maoni yako imekuwaje imeharibu biashara yenu imeongeza imesaidia tupatie ma maoni mbili tatu. Uh, uh, si tumeshukuru kwa government kutangasa barabara. Yes. Eh jakuwa ijatualibia lakini mm. kuna changamoto. Mm -hmm. Ali mingi simekuja ruti. So yeah. kwa biashara yetu atukutu kumerudi chini. Gari mingi unamaanisha uh, matatu. Oh matatu sasa zinaanza kufanya apa. Oh zikuwa zina apply route. Eh lakini simeanza ku comply. Oh so kasi yetu imerudi chini kiasi. Oh una uh, una apply wapi tu wapi? bypass mm. to same uh, Luiru Luiru bypass or oh, Luiru bypass yeah 
so matatu sasa hizi zile hizo kubwa kubwa zimeanza kupiga hiyo ndio kupiga hiyo ndio ah na sasa zile zimewafikia watu za kuingia ndani hazijakuwa mingi asichakuwa mingi lakini sisi ulifanya kwa hii highway mm. lakini sasa vile imetengenezwa wapiga yeah. wengi wameanza kutumia hii sikali kubwa oh eh, makes eh. sense na in terms ya movement imekuwa faster ama imesaidia in terms of kupunguza consumption pande pande ya movement mm. imekuwa msuri sababu mm. hakuna chama ukitaka oh. kufanya kitu ya haraka mm. kwa barabara inakuwa ni haraka kufanya oh. si kama hapa wale si kama wale eh, yeah. So wewe ifraia ama uipendi? Mimi naifraia sababu ni maendeleo. Siwezi yes. kutegemea pande yangu peke yangu. Oh. So mpaka niangalie mm. wale zetu ambao wanatafuta wanafanya biashara katika barabara mm. wapokea ile wanapokea na sisi tupokea ile tunapokea. Yeah. Ah, Mshukuru sana. Na naomba biashara pia izidi kunoga pia wewe ununua hiyo kubwa. <laughs> Wenze kuiendesha, si ndio? Alikweli. Ah, so yeah. na um, in terms of watu kukuja wengi kuishi huko manyumba shamba ya vitu za shamba na nyinyi zimepanda eh uh, asichapanda so ni rent haijapanda haijapanda oh. i think itaenda kupanda sababu imeanza kuseme barabara ndio inafanya biashara mingi ugro mm. so miaka tunaenda fikiri itapanda itapanda eh uh, tunatakia mema zaidi haya uh, asante sana haya uh, mshukuru So great people we come to the end of our day today and it's been amazing to see how fast a broad project can be done in such a small time in uh, in such a great quality that has been done so this get to show you that if the country if the government is serious in the interest that it has at hand a road project can be expedited very fast so with that we come to the end of our day today so don't forget to subscribe like and share please you can leave a suggestion where next you'd like to see